students welcome to the first class of epge epge is uh, electrical power generation and economy and its subject code is ex503 and you can see as the uh, ppt you can see here here we are having the scheme syllabus cos and uh, as this is the introductory class we will be discussing the overview of the subject unit wise so uh, in the first slide uh, you can see the topic introduction to the subject and uh, i am your instructor professor neeti dugaya uh, from ex department and this is the scheme as you can see uh, i must uh, enlarge it uh, the ex503 is the departmental elective one and in here you can see that uh, this is the subject here we are having the uh, departmental elective three electives are there out of which we have selected ex 503a that is electrical power generation and economy right so uh, the subject is having 70 marks in ncm 20 in medicine and 10 is quiz assignment there is no practical uh, laboratory of this uh, subject then we comes about the syllabus uh, as far as syllabus is concerned we have five units of the subject number 1 unit 1 is having as you can see here i'll be discussing it uh, um in sequence so first is the energy sources and their availabilities principal types of power plants their special features and application present and future trends of power generation hydroelectric power plants essential qualifications classifications hydroelectric surveys and its details like rainfall hydrograph road duration curve mass curve storage capacity site selection plant layout etc and uh, 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 out of which the types of uh, turbines governor and speed regulation pump storage which are connected with hydroelectric power plants should also be discussed in unit 2 we will be discussing the thermal power plants Uh, thermal power plants its uh, general developing trends its essentials plant layout its cold storage preparation handling feeding burning cooling towers ash handling water treatment high pressure boilers and steam turbine components of thermal power plant etc etc and in unit 3 we will be discussing non conventional power generation like geothermal plants electricity from biomass direct energy conversion of uh, systems through solar and wind thermoelectric conversion system fuel cell magneto hydrodynamics etc and unit 4 we will be discussing gas turbine power plants its fuse field of use uh, component plant layout comparison with steam power plant combined steam and gas power plant nuclear power plant and their main components and other thing related to it like radiation shield reactor waste disposal safety, safety etc in unit 5 we will be developing uh, power plant economics economics as the uh, last word of your subject is electrical power generation and economy so economy uh, things will be discussed here related to power plant generation so power plant economics is there cost of electrical energy selection of type of generation and generation equipment performance economic scheduling load curves effect of load on power plant design load forecasting electric tariff peak tariff etc etc so this subject is in line with the power system one which you have studied in last semester so uh, uh, if you will revise that concepts of ps1 that will uh, going to help you a lot while uh, pre, uh, teaching having this subject so let's move toward the course objective and outcome as you can already know that we are going under nba that is national board of accreditation and according to his, uh, its uh, rules and regulations we have uh, course objectives and outcomes of every subject so uh, for our course epg and e we'll be having following course objectives like uh, the objective of this fundamental course foundational course is to develop fundamentals physical concepts and systematic development and working of power system generation and its economy and there are five, five outcomes course outcomes uh, i'll read it out for you aware of uh, first at the end of the course the student should be able to aware of the various sources of energy and should understand how electrical energy is generated in various power plants second is a uh, student should be able to identify various components of thermal power plant and its working in detail third student should be able to develop understanding about energy generation of various non conventional power plants fourth is energy uh, fourth is student should be able to learn how to generate electrical energy through gas turbine power plants and nuclear power plants and the last the student should be able to understand the principle and basic factors affecting the performance of power plants and its economics uh, this is uh, uh, this would be the course outcomes which 
uh, students will be get after completion of the course so let's discuss the overview this is the world energy scenario this this uh, first slide is showing the world energy scenario that uh, how much of the just a minute how much of the uh, electricity has been generated so this this last circle is showing the ratio of uh, energy generated from this uh, coal then gas then electricity generated then uh, coal biofuels heat right so this this uh, circle is showing the electricity consumption the electricity consumed by the end user is 83 percent transport and distribution consumes eight percent of electricity generated and electricity industry owns the use only nine percent so this is what these uh, second circle is showing and the third circle is showing how much amount of electricity the world is being generated and this uh, data is of 2017 then coal by coal we are generating like the 38 0.3 percent then gas are almost 23 percent then hydro 16 percent then wind 4.4 solar 1.7 geothermal 0.3 and others 0.1 percent and the oil 3.3 percent biofuels 1.9 percent and waste 0.4 percent so this is the overview of the energy generated worldwide according to the different classification as far as indian electricity energy scenario is concerned i have taken this data from mnre website and this is the data which has been published uh, uh, in up to the 30th september 2018 install capacity of india right so you can see the energy scenario here read, uh, here in india cumulative install capacity percentage capacity uh, in which uh, renewable comprises 21.4% and India's total install capacity with solar accounting renewables and solar accounts for 38.8% of the install capacity as, as you can see here. So this is the graph. The coal part is 56.23%. That means the electricity generated from coal in India according to the install capacity is 56.23%. Renewable energy contains 21%. Hydro, we are generating 13%. By gas, we are generating 7% almost. Then nuclear and diesel is has, as uh, clearly mentioned here, 1.94 and 0.24% respectively. And the out of renewable energy generation, as you can see here, in 21.4% in of renewable, we'll be, uh, we are having this uh, almost 10% of wind, uh, uh, 7.5 percent almost from solar biomass 2.7 percent small hydro 1.29 and the waste 0 0.004 percentage of according to the installed capacity and this was this is the indian energy scenario in future in uh, 29 20 2029 20, 2030 is the scenario that would be that the coal would be reduced as you can see right you can see here the coal is 56.23 percent and it would be reduced to like uh, 50 per 6 percent it will be reduced so it would be so 50 percent so that would be a good sign and the solar uh, is which is showing here 7.46 would be increased to 23 nuclear uh, which is uh, 1.4 percent here would be increased up to 12 wind almost from 10 to 12 then hydros hydro was uh, 1.29 and it would be increased to 8 biomass 1 percent from 0 0.04 and gas 2 percent this would be the future scenario predicted future scenario so this is the total install capacity in in next lecture we will be seeing the total install capacity and the uh, other scenario of india and the uh, future scenario of the state electricity board so this is out all about the today's lecture in next lecture we will be seeing the next things thank you so much